a man can only take so much before he snaps. Hello everybody, and today we're talking about how Flamingo has kind of gone over the edge ever since he got pronounced as dead by Instagram. So if you don't know the situation, his account got completely memorialized and locked on Instagram. Meaning he can't use it at all, he can't even look at other people's photos, it's just completely locked. And he appealed it, and the appeal got denied, despite him obviously being alive. And the reason this probably happened in the first place is because of the rumors of him dying have been going on for so long. Finally, Instagram actually believed it, but this basically caused him to crack, and he uploaded uploaded a Twitter video and just a ton of random tweets. But before I start explaining this entire situation, I want to go and ask you guys to like the video and subscribe to the notification on for more videos like this in the future, basically just talking about different situations going on inside the community every single day. Anyways, to go ahead and begin, basically what memorializing account on Instagram is, is basically just locking the account which prevents it from getting hacked and them uploading different horrible stuff which actually has happened inside of the past, which is pretty sad that you're hacking a dead person's Instagram, but it basically prevents it from getting hacked. and basically tells everybody that this person is now gone so you probably shouldn't reply asking them to give you a shout out or saying you're their biggest fan can i please get an autograph so this entire moralizing account is pretty beneficial especially if you're dead and you have an instagram account but to actually get somebody's account memorialized you have to have proof of death instagram actually said to report an account to be memorialized please contact us we require proof of death such as a link to an obituary or news articles to memorialize an account so you might be asking Asking, how did Flamingo's account get memorialized if he's still alive? What did they use as proof of death, considering how it shouldn't exist? And this is where the Flamingo death rumor comes in a lot. As you can see, this is a real Matt video posted a while ago, and it's about Flamingo reveals why he's dying very sad. Then we got a Flamingo death article, which is something that's required for a proof of death. And it's basically just saying he died on a street quarter in Florida inside of 2020, which obviously didn't happen. This is probably one of the articles they actually used to confirm his death when he didn't even actually die. And this is not the only article. There's actually a bunch of different articles saying that Flamingo is dead when he's not. As you can see, he said right here, who told Instagram that I died? And then posted a screenshot of your account instead of a special memorialized state. Of course, he actually uploaded a video of this entire topic and he actually applied to get his account reinstated, but they denied his appeal and said that he actually was dead when he isn't dead. So this would pretty much bring anybody to their breaking point and it definitely brung Flamingo to his as he changed his Twitter to say Mark Zuckerberg which is the owner of Facebook and Instagram and posted his picture of Mark Zuckerberg's face and then tweeted out saying hey Mark Zuckerberg I'm going to do something very bad if you do not unmemorialize my Instagram account I am not dead yet and I really like how he actually says yet then he tweeted out saying gets followed by one of my childhood heroes she now probably thinks I literally died which might literally be true because imagine if you only talk to someone on Instagram and they randomly just stopped talking to you for a few days and they wouldn't respond to anything you sent them and then their account said that it was memorialized and they died. You'd probably think that they actually died. And this isn't the only person that this actually happened to. It also happened to Jack Sucks at Life and some other people. So this is a pretty much widespread issue. Hopefully they have it fixed now. But this is a big problem considering how they literally denied Flamingo's request to appeal and become alive again. He literally typed in saying I am not dead. One more confirmation to you need. However, Flamingo continues to go off the deep end and says, don't think it, and just that over and over again. But the tweets didn't stop there because he also said, yeah, do you remember Albert? Remember when he violently died so Instagram memorialized his page and rejected his appeals because he was so violently dead? I'll show this world what a dead man is capable of. Hopefully he isn't serious, which I don't think he is, but I would not like to see what a dead man is capable of. But then it continued further with him saying, hello, Facebook users. I'm having difficulty with my Instagram account and then he posted this video Instagram I'm I'm at my breaking point and a man can only take so much before he snaps so as you can see, it's kind of like a reference to the Joker. This is hopefully his peak that he's actually going to reach. But I mean, like, what would you feel like if Instagram locked your entire account and said you were dead and denied your appeals? Then in his final moments of actually being dead on Twitter before he got unmemorialized, first Instagram, now Twitter, they will regret this. And it just says this media cannot be displayed. And it's basically just how Twitter is kind of messing up. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, this is just like a joke and just something I found pretty interesting inside the community. So if you want to see more interesting videos, 
videos like this and kind of even funny sometimes. Make sure you guys go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the case on for more. And tell me your opinion. Do you think that Flamingo has gone crazy because of this? Or is it just a joke? Can I also get an F for Flamingo literally dying on Instagram? And goodbye.